To Turkey now, where President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has been sworn in for another five-year term in office, extending his over two decades in power. The Turkish leader, who won a historic runoff election last weekend, faces a host of domestic challenges, most notably deep economic problems. Inflation is soaring, causing a cost-of-living crisis. Parts of Turkey are also in urgent need of rebuilding following devastating earthquakes earlier this year. DW correspondent Doreen Jones is in Istanbul and has been following Recep Tayyip Erdogan's inauguration ceremony for us. Good to see you there, Dorian. So Erdogan has just been sworn in for another five years as president, and yet Turkey does seem to be more divided than ever. So what does another term for Erdogan mean for Turkish democracy? Well, that is the question on pretty much everyone's minds, none more so than the opposition, who uh, narrowly failed to defeat Erdogan, securing just under 48 percent of the vote. But what will come next is in the minds of pretty much the country. And it's very difficult to know which direction Erdogan will be going. In his uh, victory speech on uh, election night, he gave a very conflicting message. On one side, he gave a, a very consensual message, saying that this victory for him was a victory for all of Turkey. There were no losers on this night one said, but then went on to uh, target uh, a, a very prominent uh, uh, pro, uh, former leader of the pro-Kurdish main party who was in jail. He labelled him as a terrorist and vowed he would never be released from uh, prison as long as uh, Erdogan remained in power. And that sent a chill down the spine of many people that do oppose Erdogan and set up the spectre possibly for a further crackdown on dissent. So at the moment it's very unclear what direction Erdogan will be going in. Many people will be looking at what kind of uh, ministerial cabinet he will announce later on tonight. Well, indeed, there has been some talk of a coming governmental shakedown with the beginning of Erdogan's new term. Dorian, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, Erdogan is normally pretty conservative about changing ministers throughout his more than 20 years in power. But what has been uh, leaked uh, across many uh, sources is that he, there is expectation of a major shake-up from top to bottom. Uh, none more so the uh, finance minister has been widely touted to be replaced with Mehmet Shimshek. Now, he was a former minister in Erdogan's uh, government, uh, very much very popular with international markets, having worked for the American bank Merrill Lynch. So he was seen as very market friendly. Now Erdogan's uh, unorthodox economic policies have plunged Turkey into chaos, inflation in high double digits with his low interest rate policy. Now many people have warned that the number one priority for Erdogan and his number one threat is financial turmoil and possible collapse in the currency. An appointment of Shimshek would be seen by many as a sign that he's possibly going to change course. Uh, but we will have to wait to see on, see on that. But there are also further changes expected. Of the foreign minister uh, is also widely touted to be replaced and the interior ministry as well. So there's a lot of expectation tonight on who the appointments will be. And now we have mentioned it already. Erdogan's been in power for more than 20 years. How long do people expect him to stay on? Well, I mean, according to the present constitution, this is, should be his final term. In fact, many critics say he shouldn't have been, even been allowed to uh, serve, because uh, given this is his third uh, term in office, and the constitution says two, but uh, technicalities were seen to open the door to this uh, latest term. But now, Erdogan, throughout his campaign, said he wants a new constitution. And many people expect that that could open the door to an end to presidential terms, and for the fact that Erdogan could serve in power indefinitely if he carries on winning elections. So, there's expectation that this isn't the end of uh, Erdogan's rule. He is relatively young at 69, but having said that, he has been shrouded by health concerns, but it hasn't stopped him from winning this latest election. That was DW's correspondent Dorian Jones in Istanbul. Dorian, thank you.